George, the crops here at our demonstration greenhouse just look terrific. And I know there's a lot that goes into having a crop that, that does this well. Yes, these crops do look excellent, Bob. Uh, there are a lot of important factors that go into uh, producing good crops. Obviously, plants need am ample sunshine, ample sunlight, which we get in a greenhouse. Uh, they also need uh, the environment to be optimal. We can control the temperature and the humidity uh, in these greenhouses. And also, there, there needs to be a, a considerable amount of technical expertise that goes into producing these crops. Obviously, we have that technical expertise here in our staff to manage the irrigation systems and also the nutrient delivery systems to these crops. George, I know the nutrient delivery system is an area of expertise for you. How about if you show us a little bit about how you put those recipes together? George, I know you've done a lot of research and work on developing fertilizer programs for our hydroponic producers in the state of Florida, and that information has become vital for our growers throughout the state, regardless of what crop that they may be growing. I think the University of Florida has been a leader in working with hydroponic uh, producers in developing nutrient solutions and those formulas are available on the web. When you go to develop a recipe for fertilizer in these hydroponic programs, um, tell us a little bit about the key things that you would need to consider in developing those recipes. Well, first of all, Bob, the, um, the recipes, the fertilizer that we use for hydroponic uh, nutrient solution formulations are different. The, the, the fertilizers are different than we would use in our gardens or in our farm crops outdoors. Uh, we need high quality, uh, very highly soluble materials uh, because we're going to be injecting these fertilizers through a nutrient solution system using sophisticated emitters uh, for our plants. So we need, that's the first key. Uh, the second aspect is to, to realize that these are, even though they are different fertilizers, they are readily available around the country uh, for formulation in those nutrient solutions. Uh, for example, uh, we have dry products that are specially formulated for hydroponic uh, use. We have liquid products. This happens to be phosphoric acid. Uh, we're going to use that to supply phosphorus and to uh, control pH in our nutrient solution as we deliver it. We have products that supply multiple nutrients at one time. This happens to be magnesium sulfate. Uh, we also, th these are macronutrients. The, the plants need these in relatively large amounts uh, during their, their growth cycle. We also have micronutrients. Uh, this is iron uh, that the plants need. This is manganese, uh, another micronutrient. So we have various kinds of fertilizers and it's key that the, the user or the grower use those recipes, follow those recipes, uh, and if they can obtain these materials, uh, they're very easy to, uh, to formulate in those nutrient solutions. And I know here we're mixing our own recipe using individual ingredients and of course there's some pre-mixed materials for the small grower that wasn't, doesn't want to deal with the individual ingredients that makes it a little bit easier for some of those smaller producers that choose to go that route. Uh, I see also we've got a couple of devices here that I know are commonly used in the greenhouse. Uh, how would they be helpful to a grower in managing their fertilizer program? Well, we have, um, we have several things here. Uh, this, um, of course, is a balance that everyone is going to need um, to, um, to weigh out the materials for mixing up your uh, solutions. Um, these are relatively inexpensive and they're small. You're, you're going to be working with small amounts, so you don't need a very large uh, scale or balance. We also have a couple pieces of equipment here that can help us tell how well we're doing in formulating our solutions. This is a soluble salt meter that measures the total dissolved solids that are in our nutrient solution. It can give us a rough estimate of the amount of fertilizer that is in our solution. Um, it measures everything all at once. This is a little more um, specialized piece of equipment. This uh, electrode here will only measure the nitrates that are in our solution, so it's more accurate. And nitrogen is the element that makes plants grow fast uh, or slow down, so it's one of the nutrients that we're going to be managing very highly uh, carefully in our uh, solution during the season. And early in the season, things like nitrogen and potassium might be at a little lower level and then as the crop grows, those would increase during the season. And so with a good piece of equipment to measure out accurately the product that we need and some tools and machinery here to help us guide us as we go through the season, we should be able to successfully grow a beautiful crop, whether it's tomatoes or cucumbers or flowers in the, in the greenhouse. George, thank you for those wonderful tips on developing a fertilizer program.